The Sun Beetle Model As mentioned, the pharaohs equated the sun with a beetle pushing a dung ball, a meta symbol which could also represent the solar wind pressure pushing on the Earth's magnetosphere. To expand on this idea, consider that the sun beetle is a bacterial virus or bacteriophage enveloping the bacterial dung ball of the earth. Imagining the earth as a sphere of life floating like a cylindrical soap bubble within the soaps, the sun's magnetic field, we can easily see the viral sun enveloping the prokaryote subkingdom of earth in a manner similar to phagocytosis. A virus is an infectious particle composed of a protein capsid in a nucleic acid core, DNA or RNA, which depends on a host organism for replication. Its DNA or double-stranded DNA copy of an RNA virus genome integrates into the host chromosome during lysogenic infection or replicates during the lytic cycle. Viruses attack eukaryotic cell types causing disease in humans. In contrast, bacterial viruses or bacteriophage eaters of bacteria attack bacteria, prokaryotes, not humans, eukaryotes. Keeping this distinction in mind, we have already established that the sun god Ra points to hydrogen, other energetic particles, and phage lambda. Now we can add that the sun god beetle Ra also operates similar to a bacterial phage. Decoded, the sun god and the sun beetle is equal to high energy particles in phage lambda. Decoded, beetle's dung ball equals the prokaryote cell or earth. We can easily set up an analogy with the Egyptian conception of the beetle and the dung ball if the creator god Kepera, aka Atum Ra, is a beetle laying its eggs in dung, then the beetle is a phage lambda inserting its DNA into an E. coli host cell. The expansion on the Egyptian model seems believable in light of the fact that the lambda decision circuit includes 12 gates, suggesting the Egyptian rationale for their title of their book of gates, which has 12 gates similar to the Amduat's 12 hours or division. We will investigate the Lambda Decision Circuit in these supportive texts in Part 3. Now for now, the Lambda genome is 48.5 kilobytes long encoding some 46 genes, which can synthesize about 55 proteins. In the tailed phase, the genome is encapsulated with an icosahedral head or protein shell called a capsid. The subunits of the capsid are located at the vertices or face of the icosahedron. An icosahedron has 20 equilateral triangles around the face of a sphere. As discussed, the Egyptian pyramids reflect the same basic triangular design found in phage lambda. In its exogenous form, phage lambda is linear with short complementary 12 base pair, single-stranded regions. When lambda DNA infects an E. coli cell, it circularizes the cohesive 12 BPNs connecting and then the phage decides on one or two different strategies. The lytic cycle or the lysogenic cycle. Another way of explaining this process is to consider the bacterial phage as a cell invader, taking over the bacterial cell's reproduction machinery so that it can produce its own phage progeny. Kepera raises the creation from an inactive state, suggesting the rising or excision of the lambda prophage. Additional language points to the excision of the prophage. May the eye of Horus belong to you, the reversion of the god's offering. Excision can be considered reversion because when the lambda's prophage excises, it reverses the integration pathway or leaves the cell by the pathway it uses to enter the prophage site. Bacterial geneticists call this site-specific recombination, so we can decode these signs as follows. The title of the Book of Gates equals the 12 gates of the Lambda Decision Circuit. Meaning of Kepper to roll is equal to rolling circle replication. 
dung in circular form equals the circularization of DNA in the whole cell. Raising creation from a state of inactivity is the excision of prophase, and the reversion of the God's offering is equal to the excision of prophase.